क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई कीडा Hey friends in the last lecture we have studied about what is chemical equilibrium and now we are going to study about what are the characteristics that we could find uh, when a uh, reaction is attaining a chemical equilibrium so let us talk about it so now let us understand what is actually the characteristics of uh, the uh, chemical equilibrium so let us understand with the first point and there are a few parts that we are going to talk about so to understand a chemical equilibrium for that we have represented a uh, general reaction and the reaction is in this way that is consider the reversible reaction where a plus b is giving us c plus d and this is a uh, double headed but uh, reverse uh, arrows that i have made half arrows that i have mentioned over here this represent that the this is a reversible reaction and uh, talking about the next process at equilibrium that is the rate of forward reaction and the rate of backward reaction the both are equal so it is only possible at equilibrium we cannot say uh, at any point whether the rate of uh, the forward reaction and the rate of the backward reaction would be equal they would have uh, been a very small difference but at equilibrium they will be the same so for example i have uh, mentioned this thing earlier only but i am going to represent it uh, once again so this was the thing that i was representing and in this case suppose if a plus b that is giving us c plus d and uh, that is basically the forward reaction but as the concentration goes on increasing uh, that is uh, if you have taken the uh, concentration of the reactant a plus b and as the time goes on and we could see that the concentration of the a plus b goes on decreasing and that's the reason that the rate of reaction or the rate of forward reaction it depends on the concentration of the reactants and it's because of the concentration of the reactant they go on decreasing that's the reason obviously we could see that the rate of uh, the reaction it goes on decreasing and there will be fall in the rate of reaction or the speed of reaction but meanwhile when we are talking about uh, that is uh, c plus d so c plus d is the product that we could uh, get uh, in a particular reaction so for example suppose if c plus d is again giving us uh, that is a plus b so in this case we could say that uh, the concentration of the c plus d has been increasing because of the concentration of a plus b has been going on decreasing so that's the reason that uh, if the concentration of c plus d it goes on increasing then the backward reaction or the rate of the backward reaction it goes on increasing that is what we have seen over here so that's the reason that uh, the backward reaction it goes on increasing the rate is goes on increasing and there would be certain point where we could say that uh, the rate of forward reaction and the rate of backward reaction is the same so therefore suppose this is nothing but the rate of uh, forward reaction as you, as you could see over here and this was the rate of backward reaction so in this case i will i am representing it with rv so in this case at equilibrium the both will be the same so that for rf is equals to rv so that is what i am uh, i was mentioning about in this point that is at equilibrium the rate of forward reaction and the rate of uh, uh, backward reaction the both are same so now let us move on to the next point yes the next point says that uh, the reaction never goes to completion yes even this is true because at any point suppose in the graph if i have mentioned over here suppose if i am uh, representing it any point like suppose this one so because this is the one that is above the equilibrium as you could see uh, if i am representing a graph and as i could see that uh, this is the equilibrium position that i could get over here i am just representing it in this way but the above one it consists of the uh, that is the reactant concentration and that is the reason we could get obviously we would get a product and uh, but meanwhile if you are talking about this one that is this is the product that is been converting into that is c plus d is converting into a plus b suppose if any point if i am talking about with respect to the same time here so now in this case because it says that uh, the c plus d is converting into a plus b but in equilibrium suppose at this point we cannot say the reactant is been converting into product or the product is been converting into reactant so that is the reason we could say that uh, the reaction never goes to completion Uh, in uh, equilibrium so the main thing is we have to convert a plus b to c plus d but since it is a reversible reaction obviously c plus d will convert into a plus b so at equilibrium we cannot predict that uh, the reaction is going in which direction so that is what we could say that the reaction never goes on completion and uh, let us move on to the next point and so these are the few characteristics that i am talking about and let us move on to the next one that is at equilibrium state the system contains both the reactant and product so that is what i have i was mentioning about earlier uh, also that is at equilibrium uh, the reactant as well as the product the both will be uh, meant, uh, the both will be uh, present in the same stage and that is basically known as the equilibrium mixture or the equilibrium state so that is what uh, the fourth point it was of and uh, talking about the next one that is 
the respective concentration of the reactants and products remains the constant so when we are talking about uh, the concentration uh, of the reactant and the concentration of the product when we are talking about at chemical equilibrium then the uh, values of the uh, concentration of the uh, reactant and the concentration of the product with respect to that they will remain constant and this is only possible at uh, when a chemical reaction is attaining chemical equilibrium in a reversible process so this is it was talking about and let us uh, talk about the next one so the next one uh, is that the ratio of the product of concentration of the product so this is the product of concentration means multiplication of the uh, concentration of the product or we could call as active masses to the product of the concentration of the reactant is called uh, is constant at a temperature and that is called as equilibrium constant so that is what i have uh, i have explained uh, earlier also in the in the previous lecture uh, so let me give it uh, another idea that is uh, suppose again a plus b is the one that is giving us uh, c plus d and meanwhile the c plus d is also giving us a plus b so in this case the concentration or the active masses that we could represent uh, is uh, by square bracket that is what we represent the concentration so if i am talking about uh, the ratio uh, and suppose if i am talking about the ratio of the uh, active masses of the concentration of the product so i could write it as in this way that is a product of uh, concentration of the product that is c into d to the concentration of the reactant and in this or active masses of the reactant and that is uh, a into b so this is what I represent, but this ratio uh, will give a basically constant value for a particular chemical reaction which is attaining uh, chemical equilibrium. So that constant value is nothing but it is usually represented by K and that is basically known as equilibrium constant. So that is what I wanted to explain. And in this case also suppose if I uh, explain uh, since uh, uh, the rate of forward reaction and the rate of uh, the backward reaction the both are same in this case and uh, that is the reason that uh, the reaction doesn't goes on completion and that's the reason that this kind of equilibrium that a chemical uh, reaction attains is basically known as dynamic equilibrium because we can't predict that uh, the uh, reactant has been uh, giving us product or the product is giving us reactant so that is a position now that is a state where we could find uh, the both the possibility. At, uh, at equal level so that's the reason it is known as a dynamic equilibrium so now let us move on to the next point that we have and the next point says that a chemical equilibrium is shifted forward or backward by changing the equilibrium composition by the change in concentration pressure volume temperature but the value of k or equilibrium constant remains constant Yes, the equilibrium uh, that is the chemical equilibrium can be shifted forward or backward. The reason behind that is suppose if I am taking the same reaction, uh, so as to explain, and uh, in this case, suppose uh, if A plus B is giving us uh, C plus D, and again the C plus D is giving us uh, uh, A plus B, so this chemical equilibrium uh, that we have obtained over here that can be shifted means uh, by changing the concentration of the reactant or or by providing extra temperature or high temperature low temperature depending on the condition that we could give this uh, particular reaction and depending on that thing uh, might be pressure or it would be volume so we can shift this equilibrium to one side and that could be explained uh, in the lee chapter's principle and that's what we are going to explain in the future uh, lectures and uh, so just a glimpse idea about that one that is uh, so this chemical equilibrium can be shifted either in the forward direction or either in the backward direction uh, but uh, the thing is this value that is at equilibrium uh, position uh, this value of the uh, equilibrium constant this won't change and that is what uh, the characteristic of uh, chemical equilibrium is so this were the few things that i wanted to uh, talk about and uh, that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this important characteristic of uh, uh, the chemical equilibrium and i hope you will share this video with friends and don't forget to subscribe to channel thank you so much